everybody, Chris Chris here. So today we're gonna to look at a new firearm that I just got in from the folks over at Brownells. Let's Alrighty, folks, so y'all know that I've been becoming quite a bit of a fan of CZ pistols as of late. The last one I picked up was the P07, and my biggest complaint about that pistol was the fact that there was no optics cut on the slide. I was like, gosh darn it, I can't believe CZ has this so successful pistol, but yet no optics cut availability. And then, what do you know, shortly after picking up that pistol, CZ announced the new CZ P09 Nocturne series. So they offer this in both a full size as well as a compact. So in the past, they had the CZ P09, which was the full size, and the P07, which was the compact version. So uh, I think to just kind of streamline their availability or their product naming, they decided to just call it the P09 Nocturne for the full size and the P09C Nocturne for the compact size. So what I have here is actually the compact size. I just got this in from Brownells, picked it up from my FFL. So here is the pistol as it comes from the factory. And just to show you guys that we are clear and safe. All right. All right, so just to show you the stuff that comes with the firearm itself, it comes with some extra back straps. It comes with uh, a couple tools for the slide plate. Also a dummy round here or a snap cap. If you're not aware, uh, dry firing these particular pistols can cause damage to the roll pin here for the firing pin block. So, um, and it can lead to a click no bang situation. So always use a snap cap when you're dry firing these. So it's nice that they include these. Also as a lock, it has the Thumb safety option, so this is a comes with a decocker or a thumb safety if you want to install that, so that's pretty cool. And then it comes with your documentation, clean rod, clean brush, all that fun stuff. So very similar packaging and all overall is the P07. So looking at the pistol itself, one of the things that I noticed right off the bat was the stippling seems to be a little bit more aggressive than the P07, so that's a much welcome change there. Overall though, it looks just like a P07, a little bit of updated slide serrations there uh, they seem to be you know very good for purchase i'm not real crazy about the slide serrations going around the top of the slide i would have rather that been flush but that's just an aesthetic thing the sights are of course these luminescent sights uh, not real crazy about those i'll probably end up swapping them at some point um, but like i said other other than that pretty much the same type of firearm as the P07 or an updated version of the P07. The magazines I don't believe are compatible. They do have this extra kind of lip on here for if you get a double feed and you need to remove that out. So I don't think without a base plate change these would be compatible with the P07 or vice versa. But I'll have to investigate that and see. So I decided to go ahead and check out the magazine compatibility. At first glance it looks like the P07 magazine will fit in the nocturne so no problem it does lock into place so i will check this out at the range but it looks like the other way around is not possible so here's the nocturne mag and if you put that in the p07 it does not lock into place so, but yeah but that's uh kind of nice if i can use these uh p07 mags with the nocturne that's going to give me extra magazines available for running a lot of rounds for this thing so uh, definitely, um, definitely great if that, uh, that actually works out in my favor. As far as the trigger itself, uh, somewhere around nine or 10 pounds for the double action and around five pounds for the single action. So very similar once again, as the P07 is. Uh, so let's look at these side by side just to do a side by side comparison. So the P07 is clear and safe as well. And I have Somewhere close to a thousand rounds through this. It's been a wonderful pistol. Uh, I did put the uh, night vision night sights on here 
and of course I got the M Carbo set up for the trigger but uh, so this one does have a little bit better of a trigger but overall these are basically the same pistols sans the optics cut on the Nocturne version so uh, pretty cool that CZ listened to their fans and decided to come up with an updated version and you can see there the comparison with the stippling uh, it's much more aggressive uh, on the Nocturne versus the P07. Uh, not that the P07 is bad, but you can see here on the back strap, there is some additional uh, stippling there rather than just having these little grooves. So overall, that should lend to a better overall shooting experience. One other observation that I'll point out here is with the Picatinny rail, uh, it has a full rail here on the P07 and they just have a single slot for the uh, new Nocturne version. I'm not really sure why they did that. Um, you know, if somebody can think of a reason why, please put that down below. I mean, for, for, um, yeah, I don't know, saving money on how many cuts they had to make. I, I'm just not really sure why they decided to do that. It's a little kind of a goofy, goofy thing there. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to getting this new Nocturne out to the range. I do have an optic coming for it, so I will be installing that as soon as I get it in hand. Uh, but I will take it to the range and run it as is and my plan is another thousand round review of this particular pistol um, The other thing is holster compatibility. So I have my Harry's holsters Holster here for the P07 and I expect that the Nocturne will work just fine and it does so and then, and my Harry's holster is already cut for the optics So this is going to work out really really well the other thing I'll probably do in a later video is inspect the compatibility or interchangeability between the slides between these two. Can I take the Nocturne slide off and put it on the P07? I expect I probably can. I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but just one of those things I'm sure somebody will probably question that. But if you look at the front of the slide and the frame, it is kind of beveled on the Nocturne versus the P07, so I expect it'll look a little goofy if you had the Nocturne slide on the P07 frame. But overall so far, uh, I like what I'm seeing here. This is just kind of a first look video of the Nocturne. Just got it today, just picked it up, and uh, just wanted to show y'all. So uh, look forward to seeing this thing in some future videos. Alrighty folks, I appreciate y'all watching today's video on a first look at the new CZ P09 Compact Nocturne. I think I'm really going to enjoy putting this pistol through its paces. If you're looking for stuff like this, definitely go check out my website. Head over to Brownells. Use my affiliate links. Anytime you make a purchase, the channel does get a kickback. So much appreciated there. Any questions or comments, please put those down below. What would you like to see happen with this thing? And again, I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And I will catch you all in the next video. You all take it easy.